Hello, my name is Neil Donahue, and here are some of my favourite mountain bike things. Now, I've been riding in for quite a long time now, 20 plus years, and I've accumulated loads of stuff. And here are 10 of my favourite parts, accessories, things I use probably almost every time that I ride a bike. Starting with something that I definitely use every time, and this is my GoPro uh, 360 camera. It's called their Max. So I've actually, you know, we make videos, so I've got quite a bit of kit for making videos. Lots of GoPros and things like Insta 360s I've used over the years. And this is the one that I use more than anything else, because it's just so much easier to film something and then decide how you're going to use it after. So it's their 360 camera, as you see, is a lens front and rear. Mounting on a chesty is pretty good. But what I've found actually most recently is the best place for this is underneath your peak and actually sort of pointing out forwards because it even records, you know, it records in 360, but it records that way as well. You don't need to actually sort of fire it exactly at the lens. So underneath your peak means you can get a really good vertical video of kind of your handlebars and the trail and you see everything. But the reason I use this quite often or well, more often than normal 360 camera, is you can shoot it in 360 and then edit that video and then export it in both landscape and portrait. So it's great for your vertical videos on your Instagram reels or on YouTube shorts, but also then we can use that landscape version in our main videos as well. You can even take screen grabs and get cool photos out of this if you want for your Instagram posts. So that is something that I use all the time. I've accumulated loads of riding kit over the years, and some of it I can take or leave. Like sometimes I don't ride in knee pads or gloves. It depends on how hard I'm riding, if I'm going for a mellow ride or whatever. But almost every time now, uh, I wear riding glasses. I feel really vulnerable without these because I don't know if you viewers have ever scratched your eyes, but I've done it in the UK, stuff flicking up, hitting your face. Even with mud guards, you can get mud in your eyes. And I've done it a few times now where I've, I've actually scratched my eyeball a little bit, and it's really painful, super uncomfortable. So I've just got used to wearing glasses and now I love having them on. Obviously, um, great version to have is something where you can change the lens out. So these are Smith Wildcats. As you can see, I've been running the clear lens for a while. They're still covered in dirt, but it's super quick, super easy to change out for a tinted lens if you do need that sunglass option. But these are my favorites. I love the look of these Wildcats and super comfortable. You know, the vision is exactly as you need for mountain biking. And I think these make you look like a mountain biker as well. A work stand for my bike. Now, I've had a few part tool ones over the years and I love them, they just work. I know this isn't for everybody, but I like tinkering on my bike. I love sticking my bike in there, even if it's clean and just giving it a once over with a protecting shine, taking the wheels out, making sure every sort of nook and cranny is great. Also, even for checking things like brake pads, getting your bike up and in front of you is just the way to do it. I think if you want to learn how to work on your bike, uh, I think it's an essential. You know, flipping your bike upside down on the ground, it's a last resort. But for me, I have to use a work stand. I love having one that's really solid and that just lasts me years. I've had my part tool one for absolutely years now and it's never let me down. Speaking of working on my bike, I do this, I sometimes just go into the carriage late at night, get the music going and just tinker, even when stuff doesn't need doing. And I love having nice tools, and this is one of my favorite. I've, I've said this before, I'm sure I have in other videos, but Topic Ratchet Rocket. It's actually a new version. This is their aluminium one, it's called the Ratchet Rocket Essential. It's a lovely little black aluminium one. And it's just really tactile. I love getting this, you know, and just going around the bike. I just love working on it, it's just the, this thing. I've got half a dozen of these because I order one every time because <laughs> I just love these things. So if you like working on bikes, everyone needs a multi-tool and I would definitely say this is a really nice one to use. The simple notepad and pen. I know it's not really a biking thing, but actually I have one of these. So this is actually kind of my leisure notepad. So in here I've got my garage build. I drew out the layout I wanted all the things to remember. So uh, toolbox under, drawers for storage of big tools, tool wall, desk with space to sit under, all the things I wanted out of my garage and where to put it. But also I have things like a camping list, so I don't need to kind of remember things every time, I just look at my list. Also to-do list of uh, what needs working on on my bike. So 
what did I have here? Well, new throttle cable, that was on the motorbike, obviously. I think it's been proven that if you actually physically write the things down in a to-do list, you're way more uh, likely to do it than if you just do it on your computer or on your phone. So I love using this. Also make sure, I love having the square, uh, what do you call it? Not the lines, but like the, the squareness of that, which is really nice. Also, I've got this Papermate, what is it? Flex Grip Ultra. You've got to make sure you've got a nice pen so you'd like doing it as well. Right, a fitness tracker watch. Now this is a partner of ours here at GMM which help us make these videos. It's a Garmin Phoenix 7 Sapphire Solar. But I love using this thing. So it's the solar one so it actually charges as well through the sun, obviously. Last flip in, I think it's like 20 days, something crazy. I love gadgets and actually I've used, been using this way more than a Garmin Edge on my bike. Mainly because I've been riding quite a lot of downhill knee bikes recently where I don't need the navigation. And obviously it's permanently on my wrist. So I do go running and it's nice to have on here a memory as well. So you don't need to take your phone, you just uh, pair this with your uh, earphones and off you go. You don't have to carry anything in your, in your, in your pockets and you're uh, running. And I use it for loads of kind of normal stuff as well. So my step count, yes mate, am I getting old? But I always make sure I've done at least 11,000 steps. Uh, my sleep, what else? Last activities, sunrise, all the kind of really kind of uh, nerdy but quite interesting data things that aren't just about bike riding, so that's why I like having a fitness tracker watch that's always on my wrist. There are some tools that you should have, but I guess you don't technically need, and for about 15 years, I didn't have one of these uh, saw guides. And of course, you can cut your bars or your steerer tubes and that without one of these, but getting them straight, um, is a bit hit and miss, should I say. So I, I eventually, I got sick of bodging it, and I got one of these, so this is a part tool version, and I love it. It just means you do the job properly, and it is something that, you know, it's an expense, but I think it's one of those things, if you like working on bikes and you do it a lot, you should have one of these, really, otherwise you're not doing the job properly. Nerdy bike memorabilia. Um, this is just stuff that I've picked up over the years, and actually I've started collecting more now when I'm going places, I'll get a sticker from the bar or, you know, get a, a map of the trails I've been to and I just keep it in my garage because my garage is also my office. So I've got stickers, pin badges, beer mats, old VH tapes, um, posters, magazines, coffee table books, loads of stuff. And I like just sitting in there and kind of being surrounded by these things, even if I don't even look at it very much. Small part storage, this is pretty nerdy I suppose, but when I designed my new garage I knew that I wanted kind of some drawers in it to house a load of stuff that I didn't really want to see, but also it's kind of making sure that all the tiny little important bits were kept somewhere safe. So I've got this kind of part tool on, on top of my uh, worktop, mainly that's got uh, kind of kind of hard to find bolts and things like olives for brakes, all the kind of stuff that will really easily be lost if you chuck it in a big pile of other stuff. But then the top drawer that I built, I actually got these um, kind of, I think they're like cardboard covered in felt, drawer dividers from Ikea of all places. And I cut them and made them fit exactly in my drawer. And now I've got loads of bits like kind of hub end caps, cleats for shoes, um, all sorts of stuff that I think is um, stuff that I really need to hand, but I don't want to see all the time. And I love having it. It's just kind of nerdy, but I love having this stuff sat somewhere organized for that time in five years when I need one of those things. The drone. Now, of course, we make mountain bike videos, but I do like being able to film a bit myself, so I use this for all sorts, for scenery, for uh, shots of my kids, but also for sometimes on shoots when someone else is riding, I can get this out and try and get some cool shots. And I love learning to fly this thing, and there are two different things completely, learn how to fly and actually get cool shots as well. So I'm, I'm still a work in progress for me, but this is a DJI Mini 3 Pro. It's a couple of years old now. Um, it's been battered. I've crashed this quite a few times. 
Uh, I've replaced the propellers a couple of times, but that's about it. It's actually been bomb-proof, so I've been super impressed with this thing. It's super lightweight, which means you can fly it loads of places, and I have all the correct licenses, but they are sort of really user-friendly. You don't have to go super nerdy on getting the, the kind of big qualifications for this thing. And it's really quiet as well, which I love. And the Mini 3 Pro is quite a big step up from the Mini 2, so you've got these sensors on here. So um, when you're using some of the nice features within its uh, software, it kind of can fly itself, but it can also stop itself from crashing as well. You can even do things like highlight a person, and it'll follow that person with the camera, and then you just fly the thing. So the gimbal's uh, following that person. Super user-friendly, really easy to use. I think, there's an up, I think there's a Mini 4 Pro now as well, but I find this Mini 3 still does the job for me. It's really good. And the only accessory I did buy, other than spare propellers, are some ND filters. When you're filming in super sunny conditions, they can have a play around with these and get some really cool shots. Right, there's 10 of my favorite mountain bike related things. I know some of them you definitely don't need. You don't need a drone or a 360 camera, but some of them I think, you could probably get and try out and see if you like these things. And uh, yeah, like I say, I love using them and uh, I like a gadget. I like having stuff that makes my mountain bike life a bit easier and a bit more fun at the same time. But if you think I've missed any or let me know any of your favorite things, jump in the comments down below and I'd love to read some of yours.